Mr. Holiday here. We have we've got a great lesson for you today. Uh, this lesson deals with uh, using a vector layer mask, and we're going to use the software uh, PhotoP. So uh, I have an image here, and I'm going to zoom in on it so you guys can see it and uh, take a good look at it. So I got a lot of cool things here for you to look at. And um, and so with that said, uh, what we're doing today is we're going to learn how to mask off uh, areas and drop in typography and drop in images. As you can see, the name of this movie is called The Wolf Moon, A Night of Full Terror. And it's going to come out on Netflix. This is something totally fictitious. This is something that I made up and I brought in all of these images online. I still can clean up some areas, like right over here, I can see uh, an area on the line, the edge of uh, this person here. But anyway, we're gonna get into this and I'm gonna show you how to build uh, an image like this for a movie poster. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is we're gonna use the software PhotoP, all right? And that's located uh, you spell it photop.com and it's located online. All right. And so I'm going to start up a new document. So when we start up something new, uh, let's just keep this simple. It's eight at 8.5 by 11 doc. And, uh, you create it, make sure that it's in inches and, uh, sometimes it goes to pixels, but make sure it's in inches. And I want to hasten on here and then you create and make sure it's 300 res. So we create that new document. Let's see if I can get rid of this guy here. I don't need him. And you hit control zero to get that document to fill in, in the perimeter. Now, one cool thing to do is when you have a background, you can make this automatically black by hitting control I and that's the inverse. And working with a black background really helps uh, with doing a movie poster. Uh, we have a lot of movie poster images to look at online. Uh, just to see a few. Here's uh, a couple that actually um, I'm going to have you guys look at in class. Uh, some great movie posters by Disney. And these are all excellent examples for you to look at to get motivated. Okay, so let's get back to PhotoP. So you got your image. And the thing that I need you to do is think about your concept. So the concept I had that I wanted to get started with was a, a wolf howling at the moon. So I went online and I got the wolf. Okay, so when you get the wolf, you always want to make sure that you are using uh, the best possible images. So I'll go to tools, size, and large. Well, here I got any size, but I knew that this was a good size. All right, so make sure that it's not too small. So when you get the image, you know, of course you right click on the image and you copy the image and you can come right back to photo P and you paste it, control V. And there it is. And from this point, uh, you modify the background by going to wand tool, magic wand tool, select the white area, and you can go to the add to selection. So this is unite. This is the second mode. And I want to keep adding and selecting around that whole wolf. All right. And then you backspace. Now, you can't see the wolf when I hit control D because, well, you can't see it slightly because there's a little thin outline around it. Now, that's, that's, you know, that's good. But if I had this white control I turn that back to white control I inverses it, you can see it. All right. That's the background. So we'll just leave the background white right now. So I just simply, simply hit control I. So in the move tool, I'm going to move the wolf where I want. And I have a little bit of a, 
remaining uh, perimeter here. And I could just erase that with the eraser tool. And, uh, or I could use the rectangle tool and get rid of it too. Watch this. Rectangle, backspace, rectangle, come down here, backspace, control D. And this is another way to get rid of things as well, is using the rectangle tool. Now, I want to add a moon. So I went to Google and I got a moon. There it is. Uh, and I made sure that it was a large image. Right click, copy image, and I bring it right back to Photopea. Now, when I hit Control V, there's my moon. And it's right over the wolf. And just using layer progression, I could put the wolf right in front of the moon, just like that. And there's a little bit of a white halo around the whole wolf. That doesn't really bother me, but if it bothers you, you can fix things like that. Because if I multiply that wolf, you won't see it at all. Boom. And it just went away. So just multiply. Multiply that and that little halo around the wolf will go away. And we zoom in, you can see where it's not there. So if I multiply it, it's not there anymore. Okay, so this is the beginnings of you guys doing a good job and setting up your movie poster. Now, of course, there's a lot more things that I did to get it to look like this, a lot of things. Uh, but this gets you started so you can see how things are built. Now, going back to this idea of making the background totally black, control I, the thing that I want to do here is just add a little bit of uh, the mountainscape to finish off the mountain here that the wolf is on. So using the lasso tool, I just make a shape like this, jagged shape, and there it is. So alt backspace is to fill in for foreground. Alt backspace is to fill in for foreground. And I turn my moon back on. Okay, so that's how I filled that in. All right. So once you get your shape, you can fill it in, and then I'm ready to move. Now I can see the foot here. I can still work on that just a little bit. So I could just come in here with a paintbrush, zoom in on it, alt scroll. and using a hard brush and my opacity is all the way up and just can finish that off. All right, control zero and there you have it. Okay, now there's a lot of things going on here. I can add uh, other elements to this. I could take these two layers merge these two together and come to edit and make this a little smaller. Scale it down, hold shift and alt together. And that scales the whole thing down. And then hit enter to apply it or double click. And with these two still selected, I can move this anywhere I want in the perimeter. And just turn off the vision you can see how everything is together now i want to add a nebula background to this and this is the fun spot so i typed in nebula and i right click copy come back to photo p and i'm going to hit a control v and there's my background come over here to edit and transform the size of it by scaling it Hold down shift and really pull that so it's big and move it where I want. Okay. You say, well, I can't see behind it. Well, I could drop the opacity and show you where everything's at. All right. And that's a good spot. So now I want to paint the moon behind the nebula. So I'm going to pull this down under the moon. All right, but now I have this annoying 
black area here. Now there's a couple ways to do this. I could use a layer vector layer mask, which I'm, I'm going to show you how to do this now. I would come to this layer, come to the magic wand, turn off this vision and turn off that vision and select this area around the moon that in backspace just to get it out the way. Okay. And when I come back, but see, there's a little halo line there. So I want to get rid of that again. So I can just come to this tool, backspace, get it down here, backspace, control D, the one on the side, backspace, here, backspace, and then I get it down here one more time. All right. Now, when I turn on this vision, I can simply, and this is really awesome, when I click on this tool here, okay, when I come to layer two, where is my nebula scene, I click on this add raster mask, which is a vector. Click on that, and then I can come to my paintbrush tool and make sure that a paintbrush is soft so I choose a soft brush lower the opacity so I can control this all right and then I can simply use the paintbrush tool and while I'm in black watch this guys make that paintbrush bigger under this layer select around the moon because I know it's there come back to this layer and I have to be on that layer and I'll do it inverse shift control I and I can erase that moon right there and maybe I don't want to erase all of it I want to erase it so that I can still see some of the nebula and that's why you have a choice. You don't want to knock it all out. And then when I hit Control D, there it is. Okay. And and that's a, that's a cool a cool technique. Now, I did a lot of things to smooth this out to make that work. But this is the beginnings of how to get that done. All right. I come here and make this moon just a little bit bigger. Because I can see a little ghost line up there. Transform it. Hold down, shift, and alt. Make that a little bit bigger. Okay. So this actually looks kind of cool. You know, I, I left some of the nebula in there. Uh, and I could keep moving this around actually actually I could take the wolf at this point and put the wolf above the sky here a good tool to be in is the move tool and then turn back on my background now I want to smooth this part out right here on the side so I'm going to come back to my paintbrush tool and watch this just paint that away and when I paint this, these edges away you can see how it's bringing it all together and that's all done because I'm working with the paintbrush and this tool called a raster mask right there raster mask and I just did some different things here here I left it totally white here I left a little bit of the nebula so some of you say well can you just keep erasing this yeah watch this I can keep erasing that moon so that I can see it fully just like that So I want you to try some of these things. 
Now, what I simply did with the lettering, I just did a clipping mask, a clipping mask. And you know the lesson on clipping mask. And I added typography here at the bottom. It's for Netflix. And I did some characters behind the moon, brought them in and faded them out and erased them and feathered the edges. And so all of this can be done really, really easy. So if I bring in the hero right here, right click, copy image, come back to photo P, come to this one. And here's the hero right here. Watch this. Go to the top layer, hit control V. Here's my hero. All right. So I can bring the hero in and I could turn him around because he's not facing the right direction. And I flip horizontal. So he's going another way. And then I'll rotate him. Okay. Edit. Transform. And just rotate him a little bit. So, you know, give him a little bit more of an angle. And maybe he's a little bit bigger. Okay. So you can scale him up. Right click scale. Hold down shift to constrain the size. And then watch this. On this layer, I'm going to come to that raster layer mask always have that clicked don't click on the thumbnail here you have to click on the raster layer mask come to paintbrush it's in black and erase out the edges you can go to a smaller eraser to make things simpler and just erase as much as you want and when you're on black black subtracts white adds and say for instance you made a mistake and went across them like that watch this Add white. I'm going to zoom in so you can see this. And you can bring his face back in with the white paint. So X will toggle between black and white. Black will subtract and white will add. Always remember that when you're using this layer mask. And I'm going around the hero like this. So he blends in to the piece. And you guys are going to have a lot of fun with this. All right. So this is our lesson for today. And uh, I want you to work it up and have fun. If you want to work with this uh, wolf moon, you can or you can come up with your totally your own idea. All right. That's our lesson.